Welcome to July's Business Outlook Survey press conference call. My name is Catherine Debling, Senior Media Representative with the Federal Reserve Bank of Philadelphia. And with me today is Mike Treving, Senior Economic Analyst, also with the bank. And we will be answering questions today from reporters Matt, Kathleen Madigan of Dow Jones, Ellen Freilich of Reuters, and John Starkey of the News Journal in Wilmington. There, be, there may be other reporters joining us later in the call. Mike will now give a brief summary and take questions. Mike. Good morning, everyone. Manufacturing executives responding to the Business Outlook Survey this month continued to report growth in manufacturing, but the survey's broadest indicators suggest a slower pace of growth again this month. The percentage of firms reporting declines in new orders exceeded the percentage reporting increases this month. The percentage of firms reporting price reductions for their own manufactured goods was greater than the percentage reporting price increases. Firms also reported a moderation in cost pressures over the past two months. The surveyed executives expect manufacturing growth to continue over the next six months, but overall optimism diminished significantly this month. Questions, Ellen Freilich, Reuters. Uh, yeah, Mike. Um kind of does sound uh, like data that is in sync with a lot of the data we've um, been getting lately. Uh, do, you, do you agree with that perception? Uh, right. We had um, a, a, a growing manufacturing sector in, in the spring months, and um, we started to see a, a, a bit of a, a flattening of the growth rate you know, last month. Um, the U.S. Industrial Production Index that came out this morning also saw, you know, a, a slight decline in manufacturing for, for June, and uh, we've had some accompanying survey data come out um, that have also indicated, you know, some 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 slowing in growth. Um, you know, keep in mind, you know, these are diffusion indexes, and we're trying to 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 measure measure change month to month. So we're still seeing growth, but these are uh, relatively low numbers. Uh, um, compared to uh, since these indexes went positive in the summer months of last year. Questions? Kathleen Madigan, Dow Jones? Um, about the only uh, good news in this is actually the employment, the two employment indexes. Um, is there any special factors underlying that? No, we had, had rather weak numbers last month where, where we saw the, the Percentage of firms reporting declines, actually exceeding you know the, those um, re reporting increases last month, and, and the numbers bounced back a little bit this month. Um, you know I think that's indicative of the fact that you know the firms are still expecting um, you know growth over the next six months, but but um, they're not as strong as they were you know just a, just a few months ago. Um, Barely an increase in, in average work week this this month, and just slightly more firms expecting increases or reporting increases in employment than than declines. Um, on, on the six-month forecast of employment, we're we're still seeing firms optimistic, but but even that reading um, fell a bit um, this month to its lowest reading in a while, um, paralleling the decline in expectations indexes. Um, as well this month. Questions, John Starkey, News Journal. Uh, I don't have anything for now. I'm, I'm just listening. Follow up, Ellen Freilich, Reuters. Um, were there any other comments that people uh, added, to, you know, besides you know filling in the blanks more or less? Um. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we had some firms indicating that, 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 that they had experienced some slowing in orders the last few months. I can't say that they were a majority. Um, we've had um, many comments about, about uh, spotty growth, um, one month increases and one month decreases, and, and more comments this month about the, the six month or the going forward forecast, I think, about the level of uncertainty of, of growth over the second half of, of this year. Um, but other than that, uh, the comments were, were uh, not much different than, than in the past few months. We did, we did focus the attention in the special questions on, on plant closings and slowdowns during the summer months, and so firms did give us um, specifics on, on 
the nature of their their um, shutdowns over summer months, the reasons they do that, and um, as in past surveys of this sort, we know we know that July and August are, are slow periods of, of uh, for for manufacturing in, in our district, um, and we wanted to to gauge whether that um, was true this year, and 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 indeed it is. Follow-up questions, Kathleen Madigan. No, thanks. John? Can you just talk about the employment outlook a little bit? I guess the, um, and can you just put an increase in employment this month, right? That's right. Um, we saw, you know, on the current side, um, you know, slightly more firms reporting increases than decreases. Um, you know, th only 13% of the firms actually reporting uh, increases in employment compared to 9% reporting declines. But we also asked them about their expectations over the next six months. And, uh, and um, you know, about 30% of the firms expect growth over the next six months, um, but 17% expect declines. Um, the, you know, the share of uh, firms expecting increases in employment has, has fallen a little bit the last few months. And it looks like that overall balance, the difference between increases and decreases on the six-month forecast, is the lowest it's been since, um, I believe, November of last year. So we're seeing some some fall in, in optimism, I guess. Um, and that's also coming out in the, the other six-month in indexes. But still, on balance, firms are expecting, expecting growth. Any more follow-up questions? Uh, yes. Um are surveyed how many firms are surveyed in this we have about 175 firms that that, that report to us okay, um, and then I, what uh, just just off the top of your head um, what kinds of things are these are these people making just just a few just throw some of the types of industries that are you know mm -hmm. Uh, we have, you know, we have representation in almost all of the the major industry groups. Um, um, our our district is a little more concentrated in, in chemicals and pharmaceuticals, but 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 um, we don't have pharmaceuticals? Uh, pharmaceuticals and chemicals. But we don't have chemicals as many. Have, yeah, we have many many firms in in the manufacturing of of intermediate products as well as 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 final products, and you know it's a it's a pretty broad mix. We don't have as many firms in the um, transportation automotive industry, but many firms that actually produce for, for the, for, you know, intermediate products for, for, for transportation industries. And we do, uh, okay, we do pick you. up some derived demands that way. Any questions? Kathleen Madigan? No, thanks. John? Yeah, how much do you get into um, reasons for this, I guess, drop in No, I mean it's it. Any comment I would make would be based upon just a, f a few comments. We really do rely on these these indicators uh, since it's you know it's a monthly survey that we do ask these same firms the same questions every month, and so we quantify the the expectations through these indexes, um, so that we don't have to rely on on just just anecdotes. Um, and um, there were just a handful of firms that that. You know, gave specifics, but um, but I think you know, concluding based upon those anecdotes is probably less reliable than than the indexes themselves. Yeah, that makes sense, uh, Mike. Uh, you said uh, in the beginning that uh, manufacturing executives continue to report growth in manufacturing, but the surveys brought us indicators. Did you say showed slower activity? Yeah, they do indicate slower activity on on orders and shipments and and general activity. I think this month. Well, lower activity on slower, activity. yeah. On new orders, you know, over the last two months, we've seen a lower number and actually a negative reading this month, suggesting about you know slightly de slight decline or or leveling out of new orders. Mm -hmm. Any more follow-up questions? Curious if you know how many of those 175 are in Delaware. If there's any any idea at all? Um, less than a dozen, I believe. Um, 
and in any given month, um, just a handful. Uh, most of the f firms are located in, in Pennsylvania. That's the largest geographic area of our of our district. Any more questions? No. Thank you very much. You're welcome. No. Thank you for participating. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. You've just been listening to July's Business Outlook Survey press conference call. And, a co and Mike Trebing, Senior Economic Analyst, was our commentator. I am Catherine Dibling, Senior Media Representative. Next month's Business Outlook Survey will be posted on our website on Thursday, August 19th, 2010 at 10 a.m.